All right, this is just a quick video to show you some of the new features that are coming in uh, onboard version two. So we can go ahead and connect a wallet and take a look at the new hardware wallets uh, UI, account select UI. Uh, so you can select a derivation path, you can input a custom derivation path, uh, or you can just go with one of the uh, base paths that we have, the default base paths. You can select the asset you want to scan accounts for and the network you'd like to scan. Uh, so I'll go ahead and scan accounts and that's uh, deriving accounts from my ledger puppet key and scanning the network for balances uh, to find relevant ones. So you can see it's picked up one of them. Uh, we can show empty addresses if I'd like to select a, a, a new account, fresh account to connect to, but I'll just connect this one here. And you can see onboard is connected to the ledger wallet. Uh, it's connected to the Rinkby network and you can see the balance. And so one of the new features of uh, version two is you can connect multiple wallets with multiple accounts per wallet. Uh, so Ledger's already connected. I can go ahead and connect my MetaMask wallet. I'll select a couple of accounts to allow access. And you can see MetaMask is connected there. Uh, it's actually connected to mainnet while the Ledger's connected to Rigby. Um, we can change that in a second, uh, but I'll show you how you can easily add an extra account on the MetaMask wallet, just switch across and that adds it there and onboard will go in and fetch the balance and EMS details if there are any. Uh, so yeah, if we want to switch the network, say on MetaMask, I've got these buttons hooked up to the set chain method um, and these buttons just call the set chain method without any wallet name. So that means it'll just uh, set the chain for the, the first wallet in the list, which is the last one that was connected. So if we wanted it to be on the same network as Ledger, we can set chain to Rinkby and that'll bring up the MetaMask pop-up uh, to ask the user to switch the network. And so you can see we switch over, uh, onboard will go and refetch the balance and ENS details if there are any. Uh, and so it keeps all this sort of state in sync at the same time. So you can see on that account, it's picked up an ENS name. Um, and the other cool thing is if you want to set to a chain that the user does not have added to their wallet, say MetaMask, we can go say for instance, set chain to Matic and that'll bring up the MetaMask um, dialog to programmatically add uh, the network and, and onboard fills out all those details uh, for the app. Uh, so you can improve adding the network and then switch to network and we now are on Matic for our MetaMask wallet. So that's some of the new features uh, coming in version 2.